Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another tutorial with your man Alpha Centauri. And today we're going to make a simple tutorial on uh, how to uh, re-sample uh, inside machine. So basically, uh, a lot of people are designing their own drum sounds or whatever sounds, sound effects and stuff like that. And uh, <clears throat> usually the way it works is that you layer multiple sounds on different pads and um, once you have the sound combined the pads combined that makes a new sound uh, you want to you want to merge all those pads into one pad to do this you have to resample all the layers inside one pad and I'm gonna show you how to do it so first I'm going to load some sounds in my four pads here. So I go I'm going to use the granular blend box from my Boom Bap Labs granular blend box and then I have all types of folders. I'm going to choose the, the first folder is called ADSR and in that folder I have tools for hi-hat, kick, and snare so I'm going to go with snare and inside that folder I have four others folder I have the snare attack the snare high pass the snare mids and the the body of the snare so I'm going to on the first pad I'm going to lay uh, a, a click well it's a click I call it a click but it's it's the attack so I choose a click I load All right. Then on my second pad, I'm going to choose a snare, but the high pass, which means it's it's only the the high frequencies of the the, the snare, just to give that 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 grip metallic uh, sound that 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 is in the snare. So I'm going to choose uh, this one. Okay, I'll bring the sound a little bit down. Then on my third pad, I'll choose snare mids. The mids is, is, is between the high and the low. So it's not the full body, but it's just before. So it's a way of uh, building, giving more fullness. Okay, I'll get this one. And finally, I'll load a snare body. This is more full. Okay, so now I have four different sounds. And I want I want to merge, I want to link all those pads all together. So how do I do this? I go in pad mode. And then here, I'm going to choose in the link group. It's, it says none. So... I'm going to click my first pad and then I'm going to choose one group one okay for the first pad for the second pad I also choose group one and I do this for all pads group one okay and now when I play whichever pad all four they play together right now that that's cool now if you want to make your own sound even more customized custom you you know let's say this layer I can turn the pitch down okay this one a little bit up I can reduce the volume. Okay. And then I can, you know, pan my, my sounds. This sound, I can pan it a little bit on the left and etc. So, uh, <clears throat> once you have your desired 
combination. Let's say this I like. Now you have to re-record, resample those four pads into one pad. So how, how do you do this? You go and you click on sampling. Then you select record, record. <laughs> Sorry, record. You make sure your source is internal, recording source to internal. Mode, I always put detect. Threshold, I put it off. And then, it's very important to understand that step. You have to choose an empty pad. So, an empty pad where you'll record the sound. So I'll choose this pad. Now, I'll hit that button where it says start. That's That starts the recording. And when I start recording, after that I press the four pads, it's going to record in that pad. Check it out. Start record. Stop record. Now if I go there, there's a little bit of space at the beginning. So now we're going to truncate at the beginning. And then we have our snare, which is the combination of the four. Well, the four now are, are louder than this this one, but that's normal. It's I I made some tests and if it, it's identical, it's it simply goes it reroutes inside, and it resamples. So it's very very uh, you know a very good way to resample and make your own sounds. So. Once you're, you have your sound, now you can save it, and then you build, again, another snare, kicks, hi-hat, and stuff like that. You build your own kit. So, go on Boom Bap Labs if you want to purchase the granular blend box. It's uh, $29.99, and you get uh, around 3,000 sounds. All sounds are made to build your drum sounds. Uh, like I showed you, everything is uh, sorted in different... It, According to building sounds, you have the ADSR folder, which is the attack, delay, sustain, re, uh, release. This is the envelope of a sound. And then you have breakbeat textures, extra sounds like click, pops, crackle, metal sounds, strange, tiny SFX transients. You got some lo-fi textures to add to your kicks and snare. You even have some reverb tails and uh, some subs to add to, to kicks so lots of tools lots of great stuff to blend and test on different pads you can even me what i do is i i i did like this one and on fa on this pad and this pad i add a little bit of vinyl crunchy here and here i add a little metallic ting and i put the volume very low it gives a texture to your sound, you know, but, but you can play with those, all those choices. But it's not, you're not obligated to do it. It's just the way I do. So, thanks for watching. See you soon. Go on boombaplabs.com. Thanks for watching. Alpha Centauri out. Peace.